The Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, in partnership with the Taiwan Technical Mission through the Seven Crops Project, has introduced new technology and crop varieties to farmers in Denry South, with a clear objective of bolstering agriculture to reduce the country's dependence on food imports. The demonstration on Cantia Samuel's farm showcased the use of a tiller, highlighting the substantial reduction in labor and cost compared to manual work. Samuel expressed his enthusiasm for this innovative approach in helping him achieve reduced costs and greater profits. With this small machine, I must say, before it would have been hard, um, back breaking for me, it would have cost me, say, like about $500 just to plow a small little plot of land with two guys. But now in less than two hours, we can plow, you know, half an acre just for just a little, just about, say, $140. $140. So I give thanks for them being around, for all the ideas, for all the help. On a neighboring farm, a trial was also observed in which the Seven Crops Project introduced new varieties of cucumber to farmers being grown on a trellis, which has varying qualities to be best suited for different preparation methods. Production specialist attached to the Seven Crops Project, Eric Chen, says the new cucumber varieties open up exciting possibilities for farmers as they can cater to different consumer preferences and culinary uses. We are not, we are not trying to beat the varieties, the, the existing variety, which is tr Tropic Cuke. We are trying to compare to see if uh, the consumers can prepare their dishes in a different way uh, according to the characteristic of different varieties. And uh, we are trying to see, uh, for example, Tropic Cuke is actually really good on, on the ground. It's not better on trellis because there are so many branches, so uh, the leaves overlapping and uh, the branches tangling, it will decrease the uh, productivity actually. So we are comparing all these varieties to find the best method and uh, vari uh, to find out the best way to prepare it. Minister for Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development, Honorable Alfred Prosper, expressed his excitement about the future possibilities of these newly introduced technologies and varieties. He also thanked the Taiwan Technical Mission for their ongoing assistance in building capacity in the agriculture sector and encouraged young farmers to embrace the new technology. And I was very happy to see so many young people attending this session. And this is why I appeal to them that we need them to generate greater interest in the agricultural sector. We know that they are concerned with what happened to their parents and grandparents because of the hard work and very little income. But I believe now it is the time for them to see and understand that the new technology in agriculture will make things better for them. It will reduce the cost of production. There will be less reliance on labor. And they can use certain pieces of equipment that can make life easy for them. Under the Seven Crops Program, I want to take the opportunity to thank the Taiwanese mission for the assistance it has been given to the Ministry of Agriculture. And it was very good to have the ambassador and team to demonstrate these two areas to our young people in Denry South. With the introduction of innovating farming techniques and new crop varieties, as well as funding opportunities provided under the Youth Economic Agency, Minister Prosper says there is great potential for reducing food import expenses and ensuring a more secure and sustainable food supply for the country. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.